Number eight, you're going to solve each of the inequalities, then graph it. Okay? So let's take a look at A here. All right? Notice the absolute value is by itself, so we can split it. This one is going to become its negative 18. Bring down the x plus 3. But notice, for the negative 1, we have to flip that inequality. Okay? Then this is the positive... bar so that's going to be just the 18 and everything else remains the same x plus 3 that is going to be going to be less than 8 so these are your two equations okay remember the negative one you have to flip the inequality all right here's the line down that middle we're going to subtract 3 to both sides this does cancel leaving me with an x that is going to be greater than then this is eight negative 18 negative 19 20 21 negative 21 next here's the line down that middle subtract three to both sides the left side does cancel x is less than 15 notice that this is a less than symbol so for the compound it's going to represent an and equation so let's write this in the compact form x is less than 15 but here this means x is greater than negative 21 so here's the the number line here's the number zero here's 15 here's the number 21 negative 21 x is less than 15 so we go all the way to the left but x is greater than 21 negative 21 so it should be like this, okay? That should be the bar. So the solution exists in between this, okay? Understand that this is a compound and equation. All right. B, let's draw the line. Let's split this into the two equations. The negative one, so this is negative five. So 2x plus 7, but notice when we make it into a negative, we have to flip the inequality. Then this is the positive equation, 5. 2x plus 7, it is less than 5. Okay, so now we can solve like normal. We're going to subtract 7 to both sides. This cancels on the left. You get 2x is less than negative 12. Then divide by 2 to both sides. 2 over 2 cancels. We get x is less than negative 6. Next, we're going to minus. Here's the line down that middle. We are going to minus 7 to both sides. You get 2x. It is less than negative 2. Then we're going to divide 2 to both sides. This cancels, leaving me with an x. It is less than negative one notice this is a greater than symbol okay because it is a greater than symbol it is going to be an or compound so this is an or compound so to graph it x here's the negative one here's the negative six and here's the zero x it is less than negative six so here's the open circle it goes all the way to the left because it is less than okay less than then we see here that x is uh, also less than negative one so here is this and it goes all the way to the left as well okay so this is a special case one notice it goes all the way both to the left right so that would be how it looks like, okay? All right, so let me double check here, good. Okay, and divide by two, divide by two, good. Oops, hold on, did I do? Mm, that's where I messed up, hold on. I got the inequality wrong here. Notice the inequality's the same for the positive, okay? So this was here, it was like this. So x was, so this is not right. So x was greater than, 
one. So it goes all the way to the right. Okay? Yeah. So because it's not a special case, this is just a regular or equation. Okay? X is less than negative six and X is pos is greater than negative one. Okay? Remember you only flip you only flip the negative inequality one. Alright, let's now look at C. Okay. Notice that there is the absolute value is not by itself. So you first have to add the 9 to both sides to get the absolute value by itself. Negative 9 will cancel with the plus 9. Absolute value of 5x plus 2. That's going to be greater than or equal to 18 plus 9 becomes a 27. Now you can split it into its negative equation, which is going to be negative 27. And then you also have to flip that inequality symbol. 5x plus 2 is on the left. This is on the right. This is the positive equation, which is a positive 27. The inequality symbol is the same. 5x plus 2. All right, let's solve. Here's the line down that middle. Minus 2, minus 2. This gets me 5x. It is a less than or equal to negative 29. Divide by 5, divide by 5, you get x. It is less than or equal to negative 29 over 5. Okay? All right, then the next one, draw the line down that middle. You're going to subtract 2 to both sides. You're going to get 5x. It is greater than or equal to 25. Then divide by 5 to both sides. This cancels. 5 over 5 cancels. X is greater than or equal to 5. Okay? And if you want to graph it, let's see. This one is a what? Um, this is a greater than or equal to. So this is a compound or equation. Right? So here's the uh, here's the number line. Here's the number five. This is the number zero. Oh, the number zero should be here because this I think in a mixed number it is five over four fifths, right? So it should be right here, somewhere right here. Close and x is let's see uh, less than that. is greater so here we have hold on let me see is this an or uh, this is an or right yep this is an or let me check ba, ba, ba. and we have x it is less than that so it goes all the way to the left yep okay x is greater than five so it is closed here and also goes to the five also goes to the right and it's an or yeah Oh, this is a special case one look it goes both to the right okay goes both to the right because look x is less than or equal x it is less than oh wait no hold on x is less than right oh x is less than goes to the left x is less than negative that and x is greater than five yeah this is not a special one yeah you see you have to be very careful with your inequalities when you graph them okay there you go because this is an or okay because why it is the greater than or equal to symbol this always means look look i can show you look it's in the book okay right so when it is this symbol it's always an and then when it is a greater than it is an or so this is a greater than, so it's an or. All right, let's look at D, okay? All right, here's the line down that middle. We're gonna add three to both sides because again, we're trying to get the absolute value by itself. Bring down the inequality. Absolute value, three X plus seven is gonna be less than eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, okay? Split this and this becomes a negative 11 remember the inequality flips 
this is 3x plus 7. Then this is a positive one. This is a positive 11. 3x plus 7, it is less than 8. Okay, so now we can solve. Here's the line down the middle. Minus 7 minus 7, this cancels. We have 3x is greater than negative 18. Divide the 3 to both sides. This cancels, leaving me with an x. It is greater than negative 6. Here's the line. Minus 7 to both sides. This gets me a 4 on the right. Bring that in the quantity, 3x. Then divide by the 3 to both sides. This cancels. x is less than 4 over 3. Okay. Let's check what of which one this one be. This is a what? And inequality. So this mean this means an and inequality. Okay, for the absolute value. So here's the number line. We want to be here's zero. Here is negative six. Four thirds is one third. Here's one, so it should be up here. So it's open. X is less than that but greater than six, so it should be like this. It's a bar, okay, because this is an and inequality, right? Yes, I know there's a lot of steps, but you just have to be very careful, okay? This is as hard as it's gonna get on the exam when it comes to solving the compound um, inequality when it comes to the absolute value.